So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, first of all, I would like to present myself. My name is Yad Ryan. I am application engineer at Zuken. I am based in France. Uh, uh, Zuken have been uh, are participating in Sim Israel for years now, and unfortunately, this is the second time we do it uh, as virtual. I hope the situation will recover very soon, uh, in a way we can uh, done this kind of presentation directly in Tel Aviv because it's always a pleasure to to visit uh, this nice town. So the subject of my presentation is enabling early and fast thermal simulation for three D multi die system designs. For those who don't yet know Zuken, uh, so just a couple of words regarding this uh, company. It's the first EDA company with more than 40 years of uh, success and innovation. It was founded in 1976 in Yokohama in Japan. We have different headquarters worldwide. Uh, the North American headquarter is based in Westford in Massachusetts, and the European one is Munich. The company has roughly around 1,250 employees. Uh, with uh, excellence in operation, uh, it's profitable with no debt. Couple of words also regarding our product portfolio and strategy. So we have uh, tools for data and process, physical design and logical design. For electronic design, we have CR8000 suite, allowing hardware uh, architecture design to uh, force 3D board, multi-board layout. ECAD and CAD co-design and chip package port co-design. In fact, this tool, chip package port co-design, it's a single environment where we have the um, design data from uh, the chip, uh, from the SOC, the package and the board in order to allow the full system view and uh, the optimization of the full system, optimization of each subsystem with uh, considering the constraints at the full system uh, of the full system level. For electrical design, we have the E3 series for electrical design, and we have also the DS2 for library and data management for electronic and electrical engineering. So the tools allow 3D product-centric design for col with collaboration with analysis tools and MCAT tools, and also connectivity with supply chain and product life management. Regarding CR8000, it's a product-centric multi-board design it allows you to design your product as a complete system, starting from the planification with system planner, then running the analysis of the design with design gateway and the schematic of the, your design. Once you approve the design, you can run the physical implementation with design force and then the manufacturing with the full design for manufacturing suite called uh, DFM Center. This has been said, now let's move to the, our, the main subject of our presentation, which is the thermal distribution. What is the research motivation? In fact, as semiconductor integration level technique increase, there is a growing use of three-dimensional 3D spec IC. IC packages. The thermal analysis, the thermal design of the structure of 3D spec ICs are more challenging than the conventional ICs. What is the reason? The difficulty in horizontal thermal diffusion. As you can see in this example, we have the presence of the difficulty in thermal diffusion because of the presence of SiO2 insulating film and thinning of the silicon. So the main goal of this research is to establish thermal design techniques for 3D stacked ICs. Uh, the simulation objects, we consider the case of two memories stacked vertically on top of a CPU. The two memories has a 100 micrometer thickness each uh, with the roughly 600 micropumps with 53 micrometer diameter of each by micropump. For the CPU, we have around 900 micropumps with 70 micrometer diameter. So we have numerous micropumps present inside each IC. And also the second approximation is one fifth of the usual chip thickness, 100 micrometer. What are the technical challenges? The technical challenge is the high mesh count resulting in long calculation time. As we have said, for the micro pumps, we have a large pump density with a small size. Roughly in this example, we have more than 2000 micro pumps. And the second cause is the package routing, which is thin package with thin package thickness and thin truck width. The first route layer with 24 micrometer thickness. So this results in a very huge data volume that needs to be lighter in order to make the simulation and the analysis uh, running in an acceptable time. 
So the goal is to achieve the practical calculation time by simplifying pumps and routing. So first, regarding the pumps, what are the simplification techniques or possibilities we have? For the first possibility is to reduce or remove completely the curves. As you can see, this is the ball form. What we can do, we can replace this by a column shape or a pillar. So the one we, ha we have retained is the pillar shape instead rather than the column one. And the second simplification is to put the micro pumps together to form them into a flat surface. So instead of having those thousands of pumps, we can replace them by a sheet like uh, with a material having a thermal connectivity in place of a soldiering one. Regarding the routing, uh, we can approximate a curve to a straight line like this one. Instead of those curves, we can replace them by straight lines or approximate them to a block forms. So as you can see, those shapes are replaced by those ones in order to reduce the complexity of the, uh, the routing. So the one that was retained for this, uh, this study is this one, approximating the routing to block uh, forms. Regarding the simulation environment, so traditionally, uh, these days, how does it work from the board design data? We move to the CAD detail data, and then we have a manual edit uh, step where designers need to run some simplification manually. But as we have said, uh, with the increasing complexity of this data, it will become, it's, it's already a nightmare for designers, but it will become easy, more complex to run this kind of simplification manually. And then moving to the thermal analysis tool. With the new methodology, a designer can change the simplification parameter as they want and export data automatically. So this will reduce errors also and simplify the, the, the step for the designers. So we move directly from the board design, Zook in Design Force, with the CAD data and some criteria to simplify this, uh, this CAD data, and then push everything into the thermal analysis solver. In this case, it's analysis, uh, ANSYS. What are the simulation uh, criteria? We heat of the heating of two watts from the top of the CPU. For the micro pumps, uh, we have the two shapes, um, pillar shape and uh, the sheet like shape. For the routing, we have three, we consider three cases. The first case with a detailed model of the routing, the second case with a grid approximated with 0 0.5 millimeter size of the grid. The third one, a grid approximated with one, one millimeter. Uh, grid size. So here we see the simplification criteria and the results. For the criteria, as I've told you, we have the routing detailed model for the routing, a grid approximated of 0 0.5 millimeter uh, for the routing, and a grid approximated of 1 millimeter. For each case, we have the pillar shape and sheet like shape. And then we can compare the results. As you can sh see, the mesh count is reduced from around 1,900,000 mesh to 57,000 mesh. And the calculation time, we can reduce it from roughly 23 minutes to 17 seconds. Then we can compare the results, the maximum temperature from 71.6 to 68.9 or for the max and the min 45 to 40. But if you consider this case with a sheet-like shape for the micro bumps and the grid approximated routing of 0 0.5 millimeter grid size, we have the simulation time that 36 seconds, which is really reducing from 23 minutes. And also the results are closer to the, to the detailed ones. Again, the simulation results with the substrate surface. So as you can see, different criteria, the routing the, uh, detailed 0 0.5, one millimeter, and uh, octagonal uh, pumps and sheet like uh, pumps. Simplifying pumps and routing produces similar heating distribution results. It can serve designers' needs for early st design uh, study. This means we can, this simplification can really help in accelerating the prototyping or if you have RFQ or uh, if you want to validate the um, uh, 
technology, uh, the, the, the floor plan for the system and package. How do you want to, uh, to, 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 to shape or to place your dies? Uh, what kind of material you want to use for your packaging? So you can run a fast analysis at early uh, stage of, the, of your design. Other simulation results with the mold surface. So as you can see, simplifying pumps and wrapping produces results within 4% max of max temperature and 5 to 10% of the minimum temperature. Again, it can serve the designer needs for early design study. Uh, so here, another way to present those criteria and also with the flow. So as I have told you, this kind of simplification can help considerably uh, reducing the analysis time at early stage of the uh, of your design. So uh, what you can do, you can run start by your uh, CAD data, assign material, running the meshing, specifying analysis criteria, and then the analyze. If you are not satisfied of the simulation time, you can change only the criteria and rerun analysis. If the thermal dissipation is not satisfying, you can move again to reshape and reconfigure your IC images. So with this kind of simplification, you can run different kind of uh, what-if analysis at early stages of your design in order to validate what kind of material, what kind of floor plan you want to use for your system in package. You can see that the pump simplification is effective in reducing the analysis time, and the routing simplification is effective in decreasing meshing. So the pump simplification is particularly effective because of repeated analysis conducted at the conceptual design stage. Uh, we have additional simulation. Uh, we run uh, some system level simulation. We have tried some simulation of a package on a motherboard. So again, with the criteria the retail the detailed routing and octagonal pump. Uh, and uh, routing with a grid approximated with a grid size one millimeter and sheet light pumps. As you can see, the simulation analysis time is reduced from 46 minutes to 0 0.7 minutes. So it's a huge advantage of running this kind of simplification. So just to wrap up, uh, uh, estimating thermal dissipation in systems using 3D stacked IC packages is essential in early design stages. We have confirmed that simplification of interposer routing and soldier ball shapes shorten the time to obtain thermal simulation results without affecting a simulation quality. For future uh, research can address the development of CAD functionalities for detailed thermal design of 3D uh, semiconductors for example, by considering the effects of the TSV density, or also by running the PCB design effective in heat dissipation by uh, studying of techniques uh, of simulation heat dissipation by changing the VSI or number, for example, or the improvement of convenience in applying heat source. So thank you for your attention. I'm done with my, uh, the presentation and I'm looking forward for your, uh, for your questions. Thank you.